All right, here we go. Um, welcome back to Bro Do It Yourself Condo Renovation Series. This is redo number 13, the second redo. I had 21 min uh, minutes of bull jive and I meant to talk about my fair rides and this uh, first surge, um, surge protector. And I talked about a lot of other crap. So I'm just going to concentrate on this and make it a quickie. Um, what I wanted to show was the ABC installation of this FS 140 first surge from Siemens. Uh, things are pricey now. I think they're approaching 600 bucks. I cannot remember exactly how much I paid for this, but I, I don't know if it was three approaching four or it seems like it was. It's about six months ago. Um, anyway, you can see here that I have it mounted on a piece of plywood, which is uh, Tapcom bolted into the cement wall. And then I have roofing uh, screws securing this unit to this because in a perfect world, this is going to need to be replaced at some point. I mean, it's set up for failure. That's why it's there. So um, I'm going to have the capability of just switching it out. I can't imagine they would change much. Of course, they could get smaller. But for now, what I did is... Uh, use this liquid type um, flex hose. I like it for this application. It really works well. Uh, you can see I've got this uh, um, other use for this, for the PVC pipe. This is Tektite and these are liquid tight. Um, there's a couple other brands, Watertight or something. But I like this and uh, I have this going in to this green and this um, these two blacks. Where is that thing come from? Okay, you can see going right into that little half inch port there. So it's coming into this 20 amp dual pole, which feeds off of uh, the A phase and B phase first before it hits anything else. It doesn't, you know, so it's got a hit here and then uh, it snaps and supposedly saves everything. And, uh, I drank Kool-Aid and bought the ferrites as well and installed them. These are modified ferrites, so they don't um, saturate the way I'm understanding. I got those from Disaster Preventer. And I saw a video on YouTube from uh, EMP Doctor or Dr. EMP, I can never remember. Um, but that's where uh, the guy sounded like he knew what he was talking about. And I know nothing, little to nothing about this kind of stuff. So... I just figured since I'm in here doing all that stuff, these were 200 bucks. So I probably, uh, it's either, uh, it's either bull jive or it's going to, uh, do what it needs to do. And the way I'm understanding it, because, uh, I really don't, I, I mean, I got a concept. It's like reading Stephen Hawking for crying out loud, you know, you get deeper into it and it's like, just starts getting muddled but right now I'm understanding that these ferrites will take the initial nanosecond or micro whatever surge in the beginning before this thing can react in the millisecond range and uh, I showed a sine wave uh, a really good um, waveform in the math the way they're explaining the uh, either the lightning strike or the MP search um, so you know whether it works or not we'll, I guess we'll find out and we either will or we don't but it looks good I've still got some more straightening out to do here I've been trying to get all this stuff worked out and um, I know one of these lines has got to go over here because it's gonna be uh, my Wi-Fi it's gonna be my TV and modem and stuff for the living room so that if the electricity goes out I want it to be uh, controlled by this um, portable generator transfer switch I'm really happy with the way this is working out um, so that's pretty much it for the uh, first surge um, surge protector it's a whole house uh, protector and I'm happy with it. it. Looks good, and I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad. I, that's just one less thing I have to think about. So, 
Thanks for coming back and joining me. See you later. Yep. <laughs>